We ripped through that race you told us about. Oh, awesome. You're not a car fanboy for nothing. I'm proud to have a spectacular racer for a neighbor. I'll keep an ear out for new intel and let you know. I think I was... I... so... Thank you so much. See you! What would you like... Hope to see you soon! We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main road. They roam over Sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. Maybe it's just a matter of seeing so much water here, but this place seems almost holy to me. Blech, you're making me want to barf. Ah, my head hurts. Mine too. Huh? on the other side but we've got no way to reach it like this if only we could raise the water level oh a suspicious lever let's give it a pull Whoop. 
Here we go. Great, we can cross now. Walk in the park. Sort of fun. The water's really rising, isn't it? Better get over there. Looks like the passage continues, but the water's too high to keep going.
over. Sort of fun. Here we go. It looks awfully deep. Let's use the hovercraft.
Like a dead end. This seems to be an altar. Hey, check this out. There's something here. Something round. Not another urn, is it? Ugh, it's used. <sighs> Like a dead end. Nothing to do but turn around, I guess. There's water running down that hole. Think it's a water slide or something? Very funny, Prince. That's just a drainage channel. But it'll be a really fun ride, right? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I thought I was a goner. What's wrong? I'm worried about what's been making all that racket. Let's call it out and see what it is. Huh? Hey! Come on now! Prince, please stop this! Corner. <laughs> Maybe. 
this far ahead. Nah, forget it! Let me handle this! You're done, you overgrown octopus! I'd say it's more of a squid, don't you think? Does it really matter? Hurry up and take it out, friend! <sighs> oh, gross, it's all tiny!
Keep at it! Where the heck am I? I don't recognize this smell. Ugh, this air is way too pure for my taste. I feel sick. Where's Thief and the old man? Got lost, huh? Looks like it's Biel's to the rescue. Come on out. It's useless to hide from a fiend. A fiend? A, a real demon? Well, well. Just look at all of you crawling out of the woodwork. You really are a demon. What are demons doing in forest land? Huh? We're in forest land? Wow, this is awesome. I've never seen a demon before. You think this is a safari? Surround them! We can't just stand by and let these filthy demons invade our home! Oh boy, not this again. Don't tell me you guys are part of the Forest Land Army too. Nah, it doesn't matter. If it's a fight you want, I'll give you one. Watch out! Touches you! First. Parroting that epi guy? Typical Forest Land Army goon. No! He touched me! It's all over! This. this is the end for me! Quit your whining! We have to protect our country! We can't let these despicable monsters corrupt our home! Say that again, you little! White! Prince! Old man! Thief! Looks like you ran a little wild. Ha! <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with the Fiend Prince! I say they could do with more punishment. <laughs> Please, I beg you, forgive them. And who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Longo, their commander. He helped me and Thief when we washed ashore. We owe him. Huh. My apologies for my youthful comrade's rudeness, Prince Beelzebub. Pongo, how can you bow your head to a demon? That's enough, Udo. Your disrespect toward our guests beggars belief. Jeff? You mean these demons? You're not thinking of recruiting them to the resistance. The re 
assistance? Come. Let us discuss this further on the way. My sincere apologies. Mr. Beelzebub. Many in Forestland fear demons, I'm afraid. Don't worry about it. That's nothing new. are Anne's resistor buddies, right? Those Forest Land Army creeps kidnapped her. Yes, Mr. Rao and Mr. Thief told me as much. Our scouts are monitoring Rosetta's tank brigade to try to determine the princess's location. Once they discover where she was taken, we will devote all our forces to the task of freeing her. Trick camp? It's surrounded by cliffs and thick vegetation, so it's hard to see and easy to defend. They put a lot of thought into their location, huh? <laughs> By the way, who are you exactly? You seem to be very well informed. I'm... Someone who failed to protect his kind and just king in his time of need. The most I managed to do for him was flee with his young, innocent daughter. Just a feeble old man, really. I've been wondering... Coups don't happen out of the blue. Pulling one off requires careful planning. Were there no signs? No. What exactly was Bread hoping to achieve through his coup d'etat? And thought he just wanted to seize more territory for Forest Land, but is that really? Yeah, that's something the four of us would like to know more about too. The swimmers. What are you doing here? What was that about how you'd never join forces with us? Or that line about how we'd never meet again? Hmm. You pipe down. Are you gonna turn down a request from an old comrade? Huh? So this old man was in your band of thieves? No! I was in the rebel army! You mean to tell me you're that long ago? <laughs> That's correct, General Shiva. <laughs> I know how formidable an enemy you make. I'm glad to have you as an ally instead. The, the reason he was so strong is because he had us swimmers on his side! Papa, your face is all red. You keep quiet, Sonny! Now, tell us what Bread's up to. His goal is to gather up the last five extant Aquanium capsules in the world. And use them to restart Garum, the Flying Fortress. The Flying Fortress? The former Peachy Mothership, which landed in Flatland so many years ago. After being modified for battle, it's said to have been the world's most powerful warship. 
It's unclear how much of this is true. But rumor has it that it took only three days for its terrible weapons to send Flatland, the world's wealthiest, most advanced nation, to the bottom of the ocean. So, it's better than even Zeyu's fortress? Without a doubt. If its capabilities require five times the Aquanium to power... Wh what will they do if they ever manage to get it working again? Well, Bread will have the power to bring the world to its knees. To hell with that! After breaking free of one oppressor, I'm not bending to another! I share that sentiment, which is why we... Lango! Excuse me, it seems I have urgent business to attend to. I will probably be occupied for some time, so why not rest up in the meantime? We'll take you up on that. We're awful tired from swimming here. Let's make the rounds of the camp. We should take the chance to gather whatever intelligence we can. All right. Okay. 